fur will be flying and feathers too as the Tigers and Jayhawks battle it out at the Border Showdown. Join this great rivalry at the new Arrowhead on Saturday, November 27th. Great seats are available for MU and KU at Ticketmaster.com or the stadium box office. We'll just get started here. You know, obviously, the game Sunday didn't go as we had liked or planned or anything like that. And, uh, you know, our hats go off to Denver. They they kicked our butt, you know, and that's what it came down to. Um, we've got five days until our next game to, you know, make the corrections that we need to m- make. We, we were in here on Monday. We watched the tape. Uh, we, we made the corrections with the coaching staff. And, and now we've turned our focus to the Cardinals and, and really trying to move forward and just get ready to come home uh, against a good opponent. How much does your ankle hurt? It's fine. Not limited at all? Not limited at all. Uh, I, I know that he's very familiar with personnel, so I think from an insight standpoint, he's able to give us some insight on the, on their personnel and, the, and different players being around those guys. And uh, but from a from a scheme standpoint, uh, I think that they've they're doing a little bit of what he did before, and, and then I'm sure they've they've now put their own uh, touches on onto the offense. That's also defense too. I mean, yeah, he was the coordinator, but right. he had to practice against their defense all the time. Right. Uh, again, I, I think from a personnel standpoint, he can give us a lot of insight on some of those players. But um, they're definitely different defensive coordinators now um, from when he was there. So it's a different uh, scheme. As a West team, isn't that you're used to it in New England as well? Right. How does that affect throwing? Does it change anything at all? I think uh, if it's raining, it really affects it. Uh, the, the wind conditions can affect it. But as it gets colder and even snow, it really doesn't affect the, the throwing as much. Weapons here. Dexter hasn't played the last few games. Right. Tony uh, got lit up pretty good. Um, did you do you happen to see that hit he took on that uh, on film on that uh, uh, onside kick? And if so, what were your thoughts when you saw it? Well, I saw it after the fact, and uh, I know that Tony was looking in at the ball, and that guy just came a missile, and uh, he, he got him pretty good. And and I'm just thankful that Tony was able to get up and recover, and it wasn't worse than than what it could be. Right. I'm assuming, I don't know, but if he was as banged up as it, as it looked, I mean, you may not have Moe Hockey on, a, on, a, on Sunday. So how do you, uh, how, how does that make you change the way you prepare or does it at all? Really, it doesn't change the way that I prepare or probably the team prepares. We just kind of close the ranks and try to move forward, you know, and you, you got to go out there with the guys that you have and play, and, and uh, you can't let that um, impact you mentally or physically. You just have to go out there and, and try to win the ball game with who you got. Um, a, a little bit, I, I'd say so, just because Dexter adds a little bit of flexibility in what we do from a personnel standpoint. But at the same time, it, um, we're getting a lot of the same defenses that we, we were, what we were early on in the year, and they're trying to load the box with an extra safety or something like that and take care of the run. How are they able to, like, like last week, bat down passes? Are they timing you? Is... When you look at the, the video of what they were able to do, are teams reading you so much? I mean, do you have to make adjustments to that? Well, I think some of those, anytime you throw the ball 53 times a game and you're in that position where they know that you're going to throw, I think sometimes those D linemen get a little bit tired and then they use more of the tactic of standing there and trying to wait for you to throw and jump up and bat the ball down. So that, that happens sometimes. But um, all in all, I think, you know, for the most part, we did a pretty good job throughout the course of the day trying to work around those guys. Six point uh, difference in Denver, and you were still in the fourth with you guys trying to come back. Why were you still in? Well, I just think it uh, it was us trying to continue to to get better as an offensive unit and continue to work on the passing game, and and uh, also you know we got to continue to fight. You know, in this profession, you're you're paid to play for sixty minutes, and that's what we were doing. Good to be back home. It's always great to be home, and, uh, and it's always fun to come home in front of the home crowd at Arrowhead. And hopefully, we can take advantage of it again, like we have been all year. I know, unfortunately, over your career, you haven't been put in many positions where, where personally, you make a, a thought or decision on what's the better part of valor: continuing to play or just saying, "All right, let's go for another day." Uh, do you ever? see yourself doing that or are you just going to play until the coach 
grabs you and yanks you. Well, again, that goes back to just you know being being a player and being competitive, and and I want to be out there every single snap. And so and, until somebody tells me that you're out or you're coming out, I'm going to try to go out there each and every play. Basics. I mean, when you looked at practice, did you guys accomplish what you had hoped to when Coach kept talking all week about getting back to the drawing board, working on techniques, and to the things that got you so successful early on? Well, I think, I think uh, we spent a little bit more time in individual period today, and so just working on fundamentals, technique. Um, we also had uh, a nine-on-seven period today, uh, which is just – Basically, you, you line up and you work on your run game and fitting and spots and stuff like that. So he definitely uh, had an emphasis on getting back to the fundamentals today. Matt, you way trying to make something out of nothing and getting rid of the football. You know, you can sit there and create a big play if things break down. Right. Or you may hold on to it and have a fumble like in the Denver game. Right. What the coach just said to you about that. What are you seeing from yourself going back and looking at the tape? You know, there, there, there's times, there's no doubt about it, where you, you get out of the pocket and you're trying to see if somebody's going to uncover downfield. And unfortunately, you, you, you know, it doesn't work out and you, you might get sacked. Um, on that particular play, though, the one that you're talking about in the strip sack, um, that one was not actually one where I was trying to make a play. It was one that I just didn't see the guy coming. So, um, but I got to do a better job taking care of the ball. There's no doubt about it. And there, there's a, such a happy medium be between the, the two because you're trying to make a play and then you're also trying to take care of the ball. And, it, you know, as much as I can, it was an emphasis throughout the offseason and, and it will be an emphasis as I go forward, you know, throwing away and just live to fight another down. Matt, told me that they thought this was an especially good practice today. A lot of energy, maybe more energy than, than they expected. How would you characterize it? I thought it was a very good practice for us. Today. But, uh, there was great competition out there. Um, I think that guys did bring a lot of energy and, and are excited to get get back out there and, and are eager to get this taste out of our mouth from last Sunday. So that, that, that referred to last Sunday as a wake up call. Mm -hmm. You obviously would, would agree with that. I mean, it, that was kind of the effect that it seemed to have judging from practice. Today. I think so. Yeah, I, just, I just think that guys. Uh, you know, want to get this thing going in the right direction, get back on track, and we we know that we've went on the road here the last two weeks and and lost two tough games, and and now it's uh, time to get back home and, and hopefully get back on track with going in the right direction. Matt, how much did you go up from the Hell's Kitchen appearance? Oh man, a lot of people talk to me about that. I'm like, what what's going on? Yeah, um, you know, I, that was a fun experience. We just went out there, and uh, a lot of people are talking to me about it, but. Uh, Corn Ramsey's pretty. Intense. He's he's a screamer. He he gets in there. But uh, Coach Haley could give him a run for his money every now and then. All right. Thank you. All right.